What's up everybody, it's me again. I don't know who else it would be on my channel, but it's me, good to see ya. In today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about money. No one likes talking about it, and everyone likes talking about it. Now, talking about making money in something like the music industry is really difficult because everyone has a different career path, it looks different for everybody, artists are different than session musicians, and session musicians are different than songwriters, but hopefully I'll be able to share three things with you that'll help you as you make money in the music industry. So item A, or one, I don't know, item one. Know how much you need to get paid to make something worth it for you. This is a tricky thing because knowing what it's worth looks obviously different for every gig in every situation. So here's an example situation. You're approached by a band that says, hey, we'd really love for you to play a show with us. Awesome. And this band is willing to pay you $200 to play that gig. $200 is fairly common for smaller bands to pay. But regardless, it's hypothetical. So they're willing to pay you 200 bucks. You say yes. So here's where this tip comes in because $200 can seem pretty normal. If $200 is to play a local show, you don't have to travel anywhere. You can drive your own car and be home at night in your own bed. There aren't many expenses that go into this. So that's, that's great. So 200 bucks, I mean, you'll probably be retaining most of that $200. But say now that that gig is four hours away from where you live and you have to drive there. And well now all of a sudden you have to take into consideration uh, there's gas uh, to pay, wear and tear on your vehicle, what if you get a flat tire? And then four hours of a drive away, if you drive, that's eight total hours round trip that you'll be driving. Then on top of the eight hour round trip that you have to make, you have to play the gig. Um, and so that $200 doesn't go as far as it did when it was a local show. So just saying, yeah, $200 is what I charge for a show. That it doesn't always work one-to-one uh, -one like that. You can't always just say gig equals $200. So something that I do in order to calculate all those things, is I say, what's worth it for me to leave home in order to play a gig? I've got a wife, I've got a rhythm of life here, studio gigs that I do, I produce, in order for me to be away from those things, I need to charge enough to make it worth it for me to be on the road. To be at a gig on the road and be away from my, my wife for two days, rather than sit here in my studio, track guitar for that same $200, uh, and be able to knock out two or three tracks in a day, I'm gonna stay here. So in order for me to go on the road, I have to take those kind of things into consideration. That looks different for everybody, but for you specifically, Make sure you know what it's worth for you to take that gig on the road. Okay, so number two. Track your income, track your income. Once you get gigs and you're getting paid, something that I see a lot of people making mistakes in is not tracking their income. Obviously, like any other business, uh, you have income and you have expenses. And if you don't keep track of these, it can get really out of hand really quickly. If you're building out a board and your expenses to build out your pedal board are $3,000 and then you're adding another couple thousand for guitar and all your cables and your in-ears and I mean, you can spend a lot of money trying to get the gear that you need to travel to do this $200 gig and that like, that's not great. And some people might even realize they're losing money every single year because they're buying more gear and not making enough money with that gear. <laughs> so something that I like to do uh, is keep track in Google Sheets of all my expenses and all my income from different gigs. Uh, specifically for music. This isn't like a budget for my family. This is just for music and my music career. Maybe I'll link that in the description. Check out the description. I may have linked uh, a copy of my Google Sheet so you can see kind of my process and use it for yourself. You can repurpose it and, and use it for yourself. I've got a list of gigs, dates that they happened, um, whether they're paid or outstanding so that I know like I need to follow up with this person if they haven't paid me. Um, and then I have like a grand total at the top that shows like, this is how much money I've made. And then next to that, how much money I've made is another tab that shows how much money I need to save for taxes at the end of it all. 
Because taxes for a musician are zero fun, 1099 income, uh, since you don't have any tax withholdings, you have to pay uh, the government. Um, you have to pay the government. But anyway, so organizing all of your income versus your expenditures, that's really helpful just to, to get a grasp of what you're actually doing each year and help you set goals for the future and say, I wanna make this much money and only spend this much money next year in my music. Tip number three. I don't know why I do the things that I do. Step number three. Make it easy for people to pay you. And that seems like a really dumb thing to say, but what that means is download Venmo, download Cash App, download PayPal. Uh, I just recently downloaded Coinbase. Uh, if people wanna pay in crypto, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting that now. Regardless of how you wanna do it, uh, make it super easy to pay you, have your payment information and your usernames all accessible so you can copy and paste to people. Um, because at the end of the gig, at the end of the rehearsal, at the end of the session, whatever it is, you don't want a barrier between you and being paid. And so what that looks like is I have a Venmo and a PayPal and a Cash App and I have those all connected to my bank and they're all just funnels for people to send me money and transfer into my, my bank account ultimately. You don't have to download Venmo if you use Cash App. It's not necessary. However, if the artist you have uses Venmo and you have a Venmo, it's going to be a very easy transaction rather than them saying, okay, I have Venmo, I don't have Cash App, maybe I'll send you a check or, you know, can you download Ven Venmo? Then you have to wait for Venmo. Then you have to transfer your bank. Forget all of that. Go ahead and download all of them. Make it accessible and easy to transfer to your bank account from each app and make it easy to get paid. Uh, bonus tip to have a W-2 on file, like on your computer or something. So if someone asks you for a W-2, you can send it super easy just download it there are apps like adobe uh sign i don't know what it's called but it's super easy to fill out documents online um save them to your your desktop or your phone and anytime someone asks for a w-2 you've got it for tax purposes and blah, yada 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 but anyway uh thanks for hanging with me in this video i hope it was helpful for some people and some of the information might not be useful at all to you. Some of it might be something you've never heard before. But either way, I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me. Anyway, if this video was helpful to you, I actually have a free ebook. I don't even capture emails. I know it's dumb. I, I probably should. But I, I don't even capture emails for this anymore. Go to my website, jessedeanrivero.com slash downloads. And I actually have uh, an ebook with a bunch of these kind of tips in there. Um, for session and touring musicians. So hopefully that's helpful to you uh, in addition to this video. And if you do like this video, uh, feel free to hit the like button because that helps me get onto YouTube's radar with whatever algorithm they have. So subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, until next time, I uh, hope you make a billion dollars through Venmo and Cash App and Coinbase. And do you accept cryptocurrency? Do you currently do that? I felt like uh, I announced it on social media the other day and I was like, am I crazy for accepting cryptocurrency? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see ya.